the three candidates who have uh, in the program are doing really well. They're all working towards their goals and we're setting some targets that they're going to hit in 2020. I thought the, um, the three resounding things that I could talk about, um, first of all, the identification that in farming and agriculture, there's a duality. And by that, I mean that um, there's two things going on simultaneously when you're in the business of farming. One is that you are a, um, an expert or a technician in the area of farming that you've chosen to be. Um, in our case, it's either whether you're in dairy or organic or whether you're into um, land feedlotting or perhaps you're even into specific breeds of uh, cattle like um, Celeste and, and uh, Nigella with their Charolais stud. Um, but sort of simultaneously with that, you're also an entrepreneur business owner and you're actually got to be in a position where your mindset is about um, getting business outcomes and, um, and putting your mind to that. So that's the duality, it's the technician and the entrepreneur. Um, the other thing that I think is really interesting in these very pressing times is that there are opportunities and really successful people in farming um, have a, um, a hidden weapon, which is really planning. And when things get really, really tough, the most important thing is that you probably double down on your planning, which means that instead of doing um, a certain amount, you do double the amount and that you plan more frequently um, within the month and that you keep reviewing your situation and making decisions that are, are measured and also take into effect the climatic conditions that you're facing and the risks. The other thing is that in farming, there are two standout qualities that you should be aiming for. The, um, the two qualities that I'd recommend are your level of organisation and preparedness. So the more you organise, the more you are in front of the game, uh, the better off the results that you're going to get. And this is closely linked with timing. And timing is a really, really critical element to the success of people in agriculture. If you get the timing right, you'll get really good results. If you miss the, the optimum times, then your results are going to be less than optimum. So um, timing and organisation are two critical skill sets that you need to develop to be, succeed in farming. So I'm really looking forward to the um, outcomes that we're going to get in 2020 with this group of young farmers. And uh, I hope all of you can take some learnings and some wisdom from some of the things that are happening in the uh, coaching program.